grandma and grandpa had given everything to live in a free country and to be able to pay back and pay forward is very important. When I was a little girl, Vietnam had lost freedom. One day, we had a roof over our shoulder, and the next day, we were completely homeless. So in the middle of the night, my mom said, we have to escape. I remember hearing gunshots. She said, don't scream, don't cry. If I tell you to run, you run. As we got further and further away from the communists, we got to the small boat. The captain, he said, everyone, look back. Look back to that piece of land because we're all going to escape together. My mom would say, Diana, the new country that we're going to hopefully get there, it's called the United States of America. This is what we call freedom. My mother said, Diana, I don't know what you're going to be when you grow up, but whatever you do, give back to what America has given us. The desire to join the Navy started when I was young. But in the Eastern culture, it is against the norm for a woman to serve in the military. It's family first, before country. But for me, as I was growing older, I remember thinking this is your only chance in this world to leave a footprint, to make a difference. So at 40 years old, on the day of my birthday, I got up that morning and I felt very liberated. You know, at 40, I, I said, you know what? I'm going to go for a job interview. <laughs> and this job interview is to join the Navy. When I had applied my package, I had applied under healthcare administration and I was very persistent. The leadership in the Navy believed in me. The phone rang and he said, well, Diana, welcome to the Navy. I became a pharmacist and I felt that sense of acceptance, that sense of belonging. You get to be among brothers and sisters that now you're really going to be able to give back. I share this story with you, these memories, the story of our family, so you will carry on the legacy of service. That makes me so grateful and honored that I have that opportunity to do that, not just our family, but for all of the millions of other young women that are in different parts of the world that wish they could have the same opportunity.
now that you and I are in the Navy together, I can't be more prouder. I cannot be more prouder. If you and Grandma and Grandpa weren't brave enough to escape literally into darkness, not knowing where you were going, what you were doing, if it hadn't been for your bravery and your courage, I probably would have been born in a completely different circumstance. Only way to protect the freedom that we have in our country is men and women who are committed to the mission. It takes a family to protect the freedom to live out our dreams. My name is Diana Tran Yu. I am a healthcare administrator and pharmacist in the United States Navy.